Alrighty guys, I thought I would give you an update or talk to you about this conversation uh, with the phone pointing towards the road. Better than seeing my ugly mug. I would assume you'd rather look at the road than look at my face. So, updates. Not going to go into too many details about everything that's happened in our life in the last week. But farming. We're going to talk about my career, farming, um, our future in Dunedin, <coughs> um, stuff like that. So I'm heading off to work now, as you may know if you've been following me for a long time, you'll remember this or recognise this motorway towards work. Um, I have pulled the plug, I actually spoken to my boss and pulled the plug, spoken to Debbie about it and my last day of this life, who knows what happens one day if I pass away and whatever happens to me happens but I don't know but in this lifetime the 31st of May will be my retirement from farming, not my retirement from working, I do not have enough money to sit back and not go to work but it will be my retirement from farming those of you that have um, listened to my story over the past year would have known that I've had a stroke um, I've also had uh, another little mini one a few months ago that I didn't really talk about too much on the channel wasn't really a mini stroke sorry I'm telling a lie I'm not really telling a lie I'm getting confused I didn't have my medication um, I ran out of my medication and I didn't renew it just because I'm a pig headed old man and my body went into shutdown and things got clogged um, so I'm back on my medication now so that proves to me that I cannot afford it to stop taking my medication ever again um, that was pretty horrible what was happening to my body I just didn't discuss it with you guys but um, farming is a young man's game unless you are a farm owner or a farm chairwalker um, it's pretty exhausting it's pretty hard work on your body and my body has told me it's been telling me for about a year um, enough's enough but when we moved down here very fortunate for us that I had the skill of farming and we needed to go farming while well, I needed to do milking at least to be able to pay the bills so it's done what it was meant to do when I got down here it was give me a year, I asked Debbie to um, give me a year, like give me a year to get us new furniture, get on top of all our debt, pay our bills, and getting to a position where I'm happy to leave farming, feel like I've done all I can in farming, and move on to my next adventure. So the 31st of May, which is not too far away, about nine weeks away, I will call that my last book of this lifetime I don't even think I'll ever pick another cup up to do a relief booking after that I'm actually like I'm done with it is there passion there for farming still no there's no passion there anymore do I love cows I think I'll always love cows uh, people look at cows as if they what they do in the atmosphere and they shit and piss and we take calves away from them but if you've worked with cows as long as I have, it's like a vet, you know, if a vet works at a vet, you know, at a veterinarian for 20 years, off and on, and, you know, treats animals, you may say a pit bull is a bad dog, but if this, if a vet treats hundreds of pit bulls over their life, they may have a different opinion on that breed of dog, it's the same with me with the cows, I'm not saying cows don't fart and shit and aren't good for things, but, um, I do love cows and I do hate cows at the same time. Will I miss farming? I think I will miss it for a while. I'll miss aspects of farming. I won't miss everything about it at all. Has farming been good to me? Farming has been um, good to me. I mean, I'm not going to say no, it hasn't been, and I'm not going to say yes, it has been. I think if I'd started farming a lot younger and stop and not got into so much trouble in between 
it, I could have got a long way in farming. Um, but I've got as far as I can possibly go now, and I'm okay with that. Um, look, it's bought us furniture, it's bought us vehicles, it's given us homes, it's paid us bills. I've even been able to help Ryan out sometimes a few years back when he needed it. Um, so it's put, you know, it's helped put him through school. Um, it's got Sophie right up to college, high school. Um, it's done, you know. I haven't made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars from farming, but it has it has given me more than I think it hasn't given me. Um, I think it's kept me pretty fit. It's kept me from being lazy. And in all honesty, I think Debbie would uh, agree with this. It has given us quite a good lifestyle at certain points of our farming career. Um, so I'm still contracted at my job now till the 31st of May. The reason I've decided to stop on the 31st of May is if anyone knows anything about farming, you'll know the 1st of June is the new season for every dairy farm in New Zealand. That's when they sell farms, buy farms, different staff come and go. Um, that's when you ask for pay rises, different conditions. But that's my retirement date. Um, what am I going to be doing? You may be asking, Jonesy, what are you going to do? Well, I will still be in the horticultural business. Have I got a job to go to at the moment? No. Have I been interviewed for any? No. Will I get the job I want? Yes. Am I 100% sure I'll get it? Yep. Uh, I'm going to start putting my name out there in about four weeks' time. Um, the industry I'm going into is screaming out for staff. I have got a lot of experience in this field. Um, I've, been, I've done it before for a, a, a year. Um, so I'm going to go contracting. Um, which means I'm going to be driving those big tractors that do hay, maize, silage, cultivating, all that sort of thing. Now the reason I've chosen to do that is because I actually really enjoy that sort of work. It has its days, it can be boring sitting in a tractor for 12 hours a day or 10 hours a day. But it's better on my body at the age I'm at. Um, I can, if it's cold, I can turn the heater on. If it's hot, I can turn the aircon on. Uh, most tractors I've sat in this day and age are... Con heaters, they've got little fridges in them, CD players, um, air suspension in the cabs, or like cab suspension, sorry, not air suspension, cab suspension, um, you know, um, and there's a lot of contractors down here that are screaming out from staff, so I'm going to start looking in about three or four weeks time and putting my name down, um, it's what I want to do for the next probably ten years. Um, yeah, it's, it's still in the farming industry. If you look at it in the farming industry, I'll still be um, doing solids and maize and hay on farms, but I won't be looking after those farms or milking those bloody cows anymore. Um, will I lose money or gain money from that job? Difference with contracting, and I know this because I've done it before, is... With farming right now, I'm on a, I'm on a um, salary. I'm paid the same amount each fortnight. I get paid fortnightly every second Monday. I get the same amount into my bank. Um, I could do a 12-hour day or a 10-hour day to get the same amount of money. Contracting is an hourly rate. Um, there's parts of the time of the year. There's about six months out of the year where you work quite a lot of hours. So the more hours you work, the more you get paid, the more tax you pay. But that anyone. There's um, times where it's not as busy and you might only work six hours a day but as long as you budget those massive big periods of time to the shorter periods of time it's kind of no difference. Um, there may be times that I have to go away for a week or two and do. There's places down in Christchurch that have got 58 acre paddocks and you'll be away for two or three weeks at a time. Discusses with Debbie if I'm away at work. She's fine with it, and I'm fine with it. It's what you got to do. Um, so yeah, that's it. 
that's our next that's our next um, port of call in career wise um, Dunedin we're going to stay in Dunedin um, until Sophie finishes high school we don't want to move her uh, to a different school we believe that at primary school even at intermediate sometimes you can move around farms and yes the kids do get upset because they've got to start new schools they get a new home a new routine but i think in high school she needs to stay and be settled at one school for her whole high school years so we're going to keep her in the school and stay in Dunedin until she finishes high school if you've all been watching my channel for years you will know that me and mum have been working towards and are still working towards um, a home on wheels whether that's a tiny home a caravan a motor home we don't know but once Sophie leaves school and leaves home that could be in five years time that could be in like in ten years time who knows uh, that's me and Debbie's sort of final chat in life to go and do that um, the unit we're staying in I'm, I'm really I'm um, really used to the old little unit now I'm used to our home I'm used to the so I'm just having a drink of coffee I'm used to our surroundings so I'm happy to stay there for another year our contract our lease does come um, stop in September so hopefully we can redo it for another year and then we'll see if we move after that to another house or we'll just stay where we are but for now we're staying put um, I hope you're all enjoying the scenery today and you can see um, it is Wednesday and the North Island is being hammered in rain and we are actually bathing in sun still um, Dunedin in the South Island normally gets a lot of shit weather but lately we've been getting some really nice weather so we'll take it um, updates on there's updates on our family situation but we're not going to go into details about that that's personal uh, me and mum have made a decision about something and we're actually happy about our decision whether or not other people are happy that's not for um, us to say but all of a sudden since we made our decision last week stress has just run off us and it's so much more relaxing not having this problem to deal with because it was a problem no matter what anyone says it was a problem and we have seen and heard a lot about this problem that's what I'm going to give you uh, for quite some time we've been told all sorts of different things and and we've never confronted it and I just decided that that's enough um, nothing's changing and nothing's ever going to change so we're best to do this in our life and we've done that um, I don't name names or say things like that that's not me but yeah I'm happy with what I've decided to do I should have done it I should never have done what I did in the, and um, taking the step way back when I did I knew I shouldn't have really I was warned so many times about not doing it and I still didn't listen so I've got to remember to start listening in the future yeah so that's going on had a great birthday thank you Nigel I sent you a picture of the cake you little fuck ah, uh, yeah now we had a great birthday 